Okay, that didn't work out the way I wanted it to. Um, let's try that again, shall we? And this time we're in speedrun mode, eh? I'm so frightened again for like the second time again. I, at least I can look kind of. Eh, it's a scary thing that killed me last time, so I guess I really do have a reason to be scared of it. Oh, alright, and we're good. Ah, crap. Come on, mouse, do it. There we go. It will serve you no purpose to look for me, for this is a voice from the past. Alright, let's I go. I you welcome to my cabinet of perturbation. Why can I not run? Hey, bad guy, what's up? Can, can I please run? Why is this not running? Why is run not working? Okay, all the run button seems to do right now is change it from run to stomp. Oh, yeah, that's right, it comes outwards. Alright, now, uh... This will be a pretty short run. Okay, let's close this door. All right. Now somebody told me I missed something while I was here, so I'm going to try and get it. Whoever you are, if you could help me, I would be much obliged. Oops. Unfortunately, these aren't delicate. All right, let's try that again. Yeah, I'm trying to. There we go. All right. Whoops. There we go. Whoa. Uh, hello? Oh, come on. I do not need another one of these. Besides, I don't think there is an... Oh, you know what? Okay, I do not see what's up here that... It's a lot of boxes and shit. Maybe I need to back up a little bit. Whoa. Alright, and then try a run jump. Nope. Whoops. Haha, <laughs> I'm still... Still using Minecraft controls. Alright, let's see if I can't... Whoop. Uh, okay, that didn't work. Let's try that again. Alright. That's nice and precarious. There we go! Yay! Alright, let's take a look at what's in here. Uh... Looks like I can't move these. Can I reach back there? No. Get rid of you. Yeah, you're pretty, I guess. Get out of here, box. Whoa! Okay, I think I found whatever it is I'm supposed to find. Hello? A lamp. Oh. A wax cylinder. A wax cylinder for a phonograph. Ah. And we learn more. Yeah, it's like Jenga. <laughs> Alright, uh... I th 
think that's enough. Move it over a little. Thank you. Alright. What? No object to use that on. There. No cylinder. <clears throat> Let's try it out. Oh. Uh, come on, dude. <laughs> Speaking to the phonograph, Bazir, mon chéri. Uh, what did you put into the wine? Absent, silly Bazil. Strong men like you don't drink wine. Wine is for helpless women, like myself. My head. What is this thing? Get me out. I'm not up for your games. No. <laughs> you have to say it first. How beautiful am I? Plenty. Now let me out of this thing. No. That is not what you say. Uh, your beauty is blinding. Ah! My eyes! What have you done to my eyes? Justine! This isn't funny! You've blinded me! Ha uh -huh. Can't catch me now! I'll kill you, you whore! Er... Does this mean the thing that's following us around is, uh, Basil? Because, let's face it, female protagonist, female antagonist... Uh, chances are pretty good that we're playing Justine. The basement had extended well beyond the manor during the time of the First Revolution. Justine was not to enter without permission, but now there was no one left to ask. Alright. Ooh, what are you? Ah, here we go. 12 January 1839. Dear Monsieur Flaubel, I am sorry to hear about your daughter's Justine's unruly behavior. Rest assured that this does not diminish your work, nor does it make your idea of a natural developing mind less appropriate as a field of study. I have met plenty of scholars here in London, enthralled by your hypothesis, and stated that it could be one of the most important ideas of the modern era. It has been suggested that the mind is not only molded by experience, but could also be stricken with disease without psychological sign. Perhaps this line of thinking could be applied to your child. I wish I could devote my letter to consolidation, however, I write to you with a request. I require passage into Algeria, and I need... Dot, 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 Frenchmen of great standing to vouch for my person. I am certain the name of Florbel would greatly speed the process and grant me the permits I require. It pains me to ask this of you in your time of distress, but if you could suffer my inconvenience, I would be greatly in your debt. Yours sincerely, sincerely Herbert. This smacks just a little bit of, uh... It smacks a little bit of the main game. Yeah, I've been also been told there's just hidden shit everywhere. But I don't see anything. Okay, here's this letter. Blah blah blah, results, let's go. Here we go. Can't get by without breaking this. Anything hidden on the shelves? Yeah. This girl's strong. Ah, here we are. The heck? Okay. These shelves are clean. I now have three slimes. Alright. There we go. Oh, 
go. Ah. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Hey, it's Mr. Bibbles. I just realized Mr. Bibbles is probably, uh... Who are you? Who's this, there? This guy right here. that in a second. What about on this? The hell? Huh. Something back here. Shipment slip. <clears throat> Congratulations on your fine purchase. The Lumina projector box with accompanying puzzle lock is the pride of our company and the greatest seller. Having earned your patronage, we would like to share with you your privileged insight on our newest workings. The Span Space Device. This new machine is unlike anything you have ever witnessed. Come and visit our testing facility and try our state-of-the-art inventions in a safe environment. Please write your name and address on the back of this slip and mail it back to us. A.S. Incorporated, Boston, Massachusetts. Gosh. That must be what the guy was probably telling me to look for. Uh, Aperture Science? Boston, Massachusetts? Wait, that can't be right. Aperture Science is in, uh, Idaho. Spoiler! Okay. So here's the deal. Uh, I screwed up this puzzle the last time. So, now I'm going to fix it. Uh, a commenter said that the problem was I was thinking like Justine's father, not like Justine, who is apparently the person who set up these traps. So let me review this information again, and I'll get back to you. Okay, here we go. Uh, this time we're thinking like Justine, not like fa uh, Justine's father. So if we do that, then we know that Justine picks two characters facing the same way. We also still know that this is the right one, the erect man, because she actually says, I was the right one. So, well, that's two things pointing towards these, uh, these two slides, and if I remember right, that's slide three, which faces to the right, the kneeling man, and slide four, which is as, uh, the erect man, which was referred to as the right one. Let's try it out. And don't tempt me, man. Here's slot three. Here's slot four. Well, uh, we'll see if you'll be freed for this or not. Err. Well, he's not dead, so let's try. Four and three. <laughs> Look out for your speed. She may do be close. Huh. Okay. Well apparently uh, they expected somebody to screw up the order. So alright. On we go. Fascinating, the suitors had not been a part of the original plan, but she liked the added excitement. Right, here we go. I'm sure you have figured out how it all works by now. Are you enjoying my quip? Yeah, this again. I think they are quite clever. Not that I was ever much of a conversationalist. Okay. Poetry has always been my forte. But I digress. You should press on. It will all be the same. Oh, hey. <laughs> 
7th of July, 1839. Monsieur Flaubert, my name is Daniel, a friend and colleague of Professor Herbert. Wow, this is... This guy sounds familiar. As I have come to understand, you are his most trusted friend and confidant. Therefore, I shall reveal my predicament in hopes that you can shed m some more light on the matter. Earlier this year, Herbert and I had set out in an expedition to the deserts of Algeria. While looking for the legendary tomb of Tin Hinan, we happened upon a cavern temple buried deep beneath the sand. In its inner sanctum, I retrieved a stone orb which cracked and split into several pieces. Due to exhaustion, I was sent back to Britain and waited for his return. I have since lost all contact with Herbert. I find myself deeply troubled by the whole affair. I believe Herbert knew more than he was telling, and that he sent me back to protect me from whatever ancient horror we might have stirred. If you can shed any insight on the matter, I would be most grateful. Forever in your debt, Daniel. <clears throat> well, all right. Okay, I think we've caught on that this is about speed. Let's go. I hear you, buddy. Oh, goodness. All right, let's go. Up, up. Come on. Down, down, go. Oh, shit, man. Ah, uh, god damn it. Let's go. Ah, uh, I'm hoping this is the right one. This is not the right one. Move, move, move! Oh, shit! 